May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I repeat, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? We're gonna have a problem here. We're live on MSNBC in Germany where the first golden ticket finder, Augustus Gloop, has been victorious. Now tell me about what you found and how you found it. Well, I was just eating another chocolate bar, like I always do, and I tasted something that wasn't ordinary. I tasted something like peanut butter, buttered scotch. I didn't know what it was until I found the golden ticket. Well, that's it now, and uh, we'll be back after these breaks. Now, get cooler with cooler. <laughs> Instead of cracking peanuts, I told my workers to um, unwrap chocolate bars for three days until we found a golden ticket. And um, eventually we did it. So, they heard of it on it. Well, I told my dad I wanted a uh, I wanted a golden ticket to get into the factory and I told him if he didn't get me one, then he'd have to get me a million ponies. And so he finally listened. Hi, I'm my gum chewer, fantastic trophy winner, Mom. This is my only daughter, Violet Burgard. Well, it all started when I heard the golden ticket was coming up. And then, so I lit off my award chewing gum. And I stick it behind my ear like I always do when I try to eat. <laughs> and I found it. I just found it. It was great. Hey, um, well, I really hated chocolate bars, but when I heard this Wonka thing coming out, I was just like, wow, I might try it for, for the first time. And so I tried it a couple times, and I found a golden ticket. golden ticket. I'll pay you 10000 for that. Leave the kid alone. Maybe if I don't want to. Run, boys, run!
out of my way. Take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Don't go back.